Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's session, we are going to see a very interesting concept which is related to the Entity360 application and how the clean functions works with Entity360 application. That is what we are going to see. So you might be wondering that like, okay, we know the clean function. We know we configure in the MDM hub and we also use the provisioning tool to configure that and use in the Entity 360 application. What is the big thing about it, right? So there are several concepts we might, you might have worked on some of the part of your clean function and used in Entity 360 application, but there are certain concepts which you may not aware. And I thought, let me bring those concepts in front of you in the form of demo. I was recently working with my team member and they are not able to identify the functionality and at what time these clean functions are getting invoked while using the Entity 360 application. So at the end of this session, you will be able to understand whether it's possible to configure more than one clean function for the given transformation. We know that there are three types of transformation which we can configure for Entity 360 application and those are nothing but view to business entity, business entity to view and business entity to the business entity. So the question is whether we can use more than one clean function for any given transformation. The next question could be, is it possible to configure more than one clean function, but it will output will be pointing to the same field. For example, if you're using first name and last name as a source field and target name you're populating as a full name, whether this full name can be used in multiple cleans function. The next question is, if we configure more than one cleanse function for a same field, then which cleanse function will execute? Whether the first one, the second one, or all of these. And the final question is, is it possible to configure different cleanse functions for business entity review and business view to business entity transformation? And if you do that, which value will be saved in the database? So these are the few questions which we are going to address. Some of the questions you might already come across or you might have already worked on those kind of concepts. But if you're not work on all this scenario, I would strongly recommend to stick with this video and you will be able to answer all these questions. So let's deep dive into all these concepts. First of all, we are going to see the configuration on the MDM hub. Then we are going to see the configuration on the provisioning tool. And then we are going to perform a demo using Entity 360 application. Let's go ahead and see the configuration in the MDM Hub. In order to demonstrate the cleans functionality in Entity 360, I have configured two cleans functions. The very first cleans function is called, it's a graph cleans function, full name with a comma. Here, we are using first name, last name, and we are concatenating by adding the comma between these two fields and we are populating the full name. As we see here, the full name is the only one output field. You can have other output field as well. Then we have the second cleanse function. And in this second cleanse function, we are using again the first name, last name, but before concatenating, we are making them uppercase. And instead of using comma between these two fields, we are going to add extra space and that after that we are going to populate full name so cleans functions are pretty simple one cleans function just concatenate and add the comma and the second cleans function make it uppercase and add the space between and then populate the full name now let's go ahead and see the configuration on the provisioning tool side we have configured two transformations in order to demonstrate cleans function in entity 360 the very first transformation is business entity to the view. It is named as customer to customer view. The second transformation we have configured is nothing but view to business entity and its name is customer view to the customer. Now, in this customer to customer view, we have configured direct transformation where 
we are mapping the customer type with the customer type, customer name as a customer name. Here, the customer name is nothing but the full name in our case. Then we have the first name and last name. Now, the customer name to customer name is full name as, we, as I said. And this same field we have also used in this the second transformation, which is the cleanse transformation. And this cleanse transformation is going to uppercase the first name and last name and concatenate both the values and assign to the full name. Now here we can see the uppercase is configured. Here we are taking the input as first name and last name and the full name is populated. That is nothing but customer name. Now here, if you notice, this customer name is a common field between these two transformation. Now when we execute or when we update or create the record, this transformation will be going to show you the data on the screen. So in this case, what is happening? Suppose you create a record either through your MDM hub or bad job or through into 360 application data will be saved in the database but while displaying the data on ui either one of this clean function is going to call the first clean function is direct that means whether it will just get the like customer type or customer name data from the database and it's going to display without doing any transformation if it is small case present in the database it will show the small case on the screen uh, in the other cleanse function, even it is small case in the database, it will show as an uppercase if this cleanse function is getting executed. So we are going to see which cleanse function is going to execute while showing the data. Then we have the other transformation called view to business entity. The name is customer view to customer. And under that, we have configured direct transformation where we have mapped all the fields. And also we have configured another cleanse transformation named as a cleanse full name with a comma. Now in this what we are doing we are again getting the first name and last name from the input and assigning the full name. So this transformation that is customer view to customer this will be invoked when we update a record or save the record using NT360 application. So as soon as you update or create this transformation will be invoked and based on the cleanse function which we have configured, that transformation will be applied and data will be saved accordingly. That means if you have the direct transformation, then all the fields which are mentioned in this UI will actually will be saved in the database side. If you execute the second transformation, then data will be saved. In this case, the full name will be populated by making uppercase, sorry, by concatenating first name and last name and will be separated by comma and that value will be saved. So in this case, uppercase will not happen because we are saving the record and this cleanse function does not do uppercase. But while displaying the data on UI, you will be able to see uh, the uppercase if the second transformation from this uh, business entity to view is getting executed. So we are going to see whether it's it performs the direct transformation or it performs the clean transformation. So to show you that, I'm going to open the Entity 360 application. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and create completely new customer record. For that, I'll go to the new, select the customer, click OK. Here, I will just provide some sample value. I'm going to use lowercase sample f name. I'm not going to provide the last name or the customer name. The last name we have provided is sample l name. Customer type is optional, but I've just selected. Now I'm not providing customer name because I know the clean function is there, which is going to populate. So I'm not going to provide. I'm just going to click the save button. As we remember, after save operation, customer view to the customer business entity, that transformation will be invoked. If it executes a direct transformation, that means one to one, nothing will be populated in the customer. If we use the uh, comma separated values, the clean function will be executed and that data will be saved in database. So I'm going to save, click on the save. 
we have configured the task so just showing this pop-up I'll click save let's go ahead and search that record I see this my newly created record is visible here now if you see here now the customer name that is full name get populated by making it uppercase and adding the first name and last name and there is a space between these two words right but there is no comma right the comma will be only get added when you save the record the reason it is not showing because when we execute view on page like when you try to search the record and open it at that time it execute the transformation call business entity to the business entity view and in that transformation we are converting uppercase and we are not adding the comma and that is the reason we are not able to see the comma but how about the database side whether there's comma present in the database side or not let's see that I just executed the query select star from C party table and as I can see the very first record is most recent record and here if you see the party name is populated sample first name F name comma sample last name and if you see here it is not uppercase so that means what are the cleans function you are invoking for business entity view to the business entity that will be invoked. And while displaying on the screen it is going to invoke the business entity to the business entity view and where we are making the uppercase so in the database side it is still saved with a comma but while showing the ui you can use a different clean function so now here is the summary right so you can address all these questions which we are talking about so let's go back to the slide and understand what are the questions and what are the answers to those so these are the questions we were discussing earlier. The very first question is, is it possible to configure more than one cleanse function in tra any transformation? And the answer is yes. We just saw like we configure direct as well as the cleanse function transformation and we can use either in BE to view or view to BE. Then the next question is, is it possible to configure more than one function, one cleanse function for same field? For demonstration, we use the full name, which is used in direct transformation as well as in our cleans uppercase transformation. So answer is yes. If you configure more than one cleans function for a given field, which cleans function will execute? Now in the direct transformation, it was one to one. So if you see that in the database side, we have comma separated values, but on, but on UI, we see the uppercase so that means what are the cleans function you configure the later on first we configure direct and then we cause cleans function called uppercase right so what are the most recent or most latest one in the list that will be executed and that will be applied so you have to make sure whenever you configure the cleans function the sequence is important so if you don't want to execute particular cleans function in given sequence you have to skip or you don't have to configure those fields in that uh, clean function then the next question is is it possible to configure different cleans function for be to view and the different one in the view to be so as per demo which i showed you in our view to be we added the comma in our full name and in displaying purpose we made it uppercase and remove the comma so in short yes we can do that the database value will be different than what actually is shown on the screen. The database value saved, it is based on the transformation called view to be. So these are the questions about the cleans functions. I hope you understand these concepts in detail. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in this comment section of this video. One more thing, in our upcoming lecture, we are going to focus on external call. So do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit that like button. Thank you again. Have a wonderful time.